I've got another Harbor Freight tool review and demo for you. This is their 29 piece titanium coated drill bit set. It's their number one selling drill bit set. Now today, October 2020, it's the same price it was about a year ago. They're $18.99. Uh, just about any time you walk into Harbor Freight, you're going to be able to pick these up for that price. I've never really seen them where they weren't on sale for $18.99. Now, one really good thing about these, it's got a very heavy duty hard plastic case with a good clasp on it. It stays shut when you want it to. To open it up, it does have this swivel middle. And this one here tilts out just like the first one. Now it is uh, engraved along here for the size of the drill bits. It is a little bit light and a little bit small, uh, but not too bad. I wish the lettering was maybe black or done a little bit bigger. But don't expect much for uh, all these drill bits in under 20 bucks. So the purpose of the video is kind of give you an uh, expectation of what you're going to get if you buy these drill bits. I'm not going to recommend you do or don't buy them. It's more of how much are you going to use them. If you're going to be drilling a lot, avoid these at all costs. If you can see a lot of these are missing, all those have broken and I have not used this very much. So if you're going to buy these just to kind of drill something every now and then and mostly in wood or drywall, something soft, then these will work just fine. Now it says nowhere on here if these are for wood, for metal, uh, PVC, what they're really made for. So in my experience, I would not use these on mild steel, which is you know like a cold rolled steel, steel plate, trailers, stuff like that. Uh, I have used it on aluminum and they work okay. I've used it on wood and it works okay. I've actually drilled through some drywall to hang some pictures. Of course, those work great. Even drill, a dull drill bit will work good for that. Now, I did install some new trailer lights on a utility trailer uh, a couple months back, and that's where most of these were broken. I had to drill a couple holes to run the wiring through and a couple holes to hold the wiring on with some clips, and that was about 3 16 painted steel, just kind of a standard uh, utility trailer. And a lot of the drill bits broke on me. I kind of started out small, worked my way big. Um, I was pretty gentle with them, uh, and they still broke anyway. Now, as you can see, a lot of these have the titanium coating uh, already wore off. It doesn't stay on there very good at all. You can see some wood shavings in here from when I was uh, drilling some wood. Now, I've got some aluminum here, a quarter inch piece of aluminum. We're going to go ahead and drill that. I've got a piece of solid oak 4x4. We're going to go ahead and drill that. And just kind of keep your eye on what the chips look like. Uh, I'm not going to give it very much pressure just because I'm experienced with using these and I know that they do break pretty easy. They do dull extremely fast if you're going to drill steel. Uh, if you've got to drill one or two holes in some quarter inch steel like I did with that utility trailer, expect the drill bit to be dull by the time you're done. I do have my handy Bauer Harbor Freight drill uh, with the uh, bigger size battery on it. I did do a review on this a while back. Uh, this is a great drill. So let's head out, do some drilling. All right, so I have this quarter inch aluminum. Got my drill bit all chucked up. This is a 564. And just kind of watch the chips. A good drill bit will expel the chips out of the hole. If the chips stay in the hole, that causes a lot of heat on the drill bit. So a good drill bit will have chips coming up out of the hole and not letting them sit in there. Not too bad on aluminum, but I don't recommend it for steel. Now let's drill into that solid oak. You see how it stopped expelling the chips out of the oak? You 
See how it's stuck onto the drill bit? It's kind of caked in there and this bit is nice and hot. Now, in order to avoid your drill bit getting hot on drilling something thick like this, you're going to have to kind of plunge the drill bit. That's gonna help you drill with these type of drill bits. A real high quality drill bit, you'll be able to drill right through and it will keep expelling all the chips as you drill. As you can see, as long as you kind of plunge drill, these drill bits work pretty good for you for thick wood. So in conclusion, for $18.99, these are pretty decent drill bits, as long as you're going to drill soft materials. Wood, plastic, aluminum, stuff like that. If you've got a lot to drill, especially in harder material, you're going to need to look for some higher quality drill bits because these just are not going to last. Uh, they're going to break, uh, they're going to dull quickly and get you frustrated. Uh, one thing's for certain, always make sure you wear safety glasses with these because when they break, they go flying and you can even see where they're going. Also, I definitely would wear some gloves in case you're, you know, bearing down on, on a hole and you're almost through and a drill bit breaks and you don't smash your knuckles against something and cut your knuckles. Other than that, I hope you found the video informative and I thank you guys for watching.